Hello, right, we have something a little bit different. It is a car stereo from Sony. Now this is how um, Amazon is sending some of their items. This isn't a majorly expensive item from Amazon. Uh, it's over £100 though, but really, there's nothing there at all to disguise what it is, but then they send everything else in their little brown paper bags. I mean, this hasn't even got a security tag on it. Right, <clears throat> let's hope everything's here. So we have the standard wiring harness. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We've got the keys to take the unit out once you've uh, got it in. Some kind of, oh, okay. It's your serial number, I believe. Important notice for dealer. Yeah. So a little rubbish to me. <clears throat> so then we've got the stereo itself, not very well packaged. So I mean, if they're sending things like this out in uh, boxes like this, there's not really anything that's going to stop it getting damaged. There's your manual. Nice to see it's not overly thick like a lot of Sony stuff used to be. Um, yeah, guaranteed rubbish. And then the rest is the stereo. This is quite a small unit because it's just a media unit. So let's have a quick look at it. If I can open it up. Nice and small, lovely jubbly. That's the point, this is meant to come with a um, the aerial for the um, for the dab. It's lucky I've got one, but it hasn't come with one. So here we go, let's peel them off. Yeah, it just looks like a standard Sony stereo, not really much display, which is a bit of a shame. I would have at least liked a two-line display. Give me a sec. See if that's the same adapter. No, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> that's the area I have already. So let's have a quick look. I'm going to have to send that area back and get the other option. We'll get an adapter, which I don't want to do because then that makes it a pain in the bum. in there. Oh yeah it does. Perfect. Well we'll see if it works when we actually get it in. But I mean <clears throat> that's all you need these days. You don't need a CD player. This uh, does everything. I'm not sure this is rear output, your normal aerial, that's your um ah that's your thing. <coughs> For your dab aerial. So we have sub output which is those two there and then your rear output so that's enough it's not a massive amount does this face come off there's normally a button here somewhere or is it like there mm. if it is yeah it is I think that's that's actually quite well made for a sony device and what they haven't got which what alpine used to send is uh one of these, they don't have a cage, they have these um, L-shaped brackets to fit in cars. Like what I sort of need really, because these cages don't fit brilliantly. But yeah, it is what it is. Looks pretty cool, gonna fit it tomorrow, because the stereo I've got is just playing up, it's just absolutely horrendous. Dab Plus, Bluetooth, although I can't connect to my, uh, uh, what's it called? Microphone to, uh, to this because it doesn't have a microphone input but it has an audio out which is really strange I'm not sure what that's for really really don't know a little blue connection at the back I have to have a look in the manual <laughs> might explain a few things right thank you very much like and subscribe